The Trans-Pacific Partnership is a deal between 12 of the nations that rim the Pacific, among them Japan, Canada, New Zealand, Malaysia, Brunei, Mexico and Australia. Now, Australia already has trade agreements with lots of these countries, but this is sold as a sort of Uber agreement. It would be 40%, 40% of the world's trade would be encompassed in this agreement. The idea is they'll be able to move goods freely between themselves. When it started, they started negotiations almost 10 years ago. People talked about trade, but it's morphed into something else. And that worries people in Australia and especially people in the US. It's morphed into a deal whereby US standards for protection of intellectual property and protection of corporate rights can be imposed on other countries. Now, one of the means this would happen is so-called ISDS. It's Investor State Dispute Settlement Procedures. We used to have virtually none of those cases. Now we've got 500 over the last 20 years. We now have 500 cases a year where corporations take governments to court outside their country, an extrajudicial, extraterritorial tribunal. Australia's facing one of these at the moment. Philip Morris Asia, the tobacco giant, is taking us uh, to court, to an outside court. After losing in our own court over plain packaging, it lost in the High Court. It's taking us to court through ISDS procedures. This worries people who are concerned about, uh, I suppose, domestic legal sovereignty. One of them is Australia's Chief Justice, Robert French. But people are also worried about the reach of US intellectual property law, meaning that Drug manufacturers will get protection for longer, will need to wait longer before cheaper generics. That's the concern. The other concern is that people don't really know what's in it. It's a deal which is negotiated in secret. It's signed in secret. And only after it's signed will a text be released. Now, the parliament gets the right to look at it. It gets uh, 20 sitting days to look at it. And it can recommend changes. But the changes can't be made. Once the agreement is signed, it has to either be approved in total or rejected in total. And Australia has never rejected such an agreement under these procedures. We can make all of the suggestions for changes, we can look at them all, but we'll only know about them after it's too late. That's what has people concerned and people need to start thinking about it because we could have it within a month.